Why should you use Ardu as a DAW? It's so simple. G'day, Arth Forest here. I will be explaining why I use Ardu as a DAW and why I recommend using it over many other DAWs like FL Studio, Ableton Live, Logic Pro, Pro Tools, and many others. The first reason is that it is free and open source, which means that not only do you pay no money for it, you can also access the source code to see the bare bones of it. Such a transparent software design philosophy also means that the devs listen to users of its software more than they would if Ardu was closed source, and it also makes it easy to spot various security issues in the software, particularly if the code is not obfuscated. Also, Ardu is friendly for LV2 format plugins, which are open source alternatives to VST plugins. And there are a lot of LV2 plugins I use for my music that I think are much better than VST alternatives I've used. Also, LV2 looks easier to develop for than VST. If you use Windows or Mac, you have to pay a donation between $1 and $45 for a pre-compiled binary. Otherwise, you can compile the source code yourself for free, though with some difficulty. If you do manage to figure that out, there's a good chance you'll consider installing Linux or BSD on your computer instead, since all the grunt work is so much easier. Going off of that, the second reason is that the functionality and layout of the software is very simple compared with other DAWs in such a way that it reduces clutter and complexity. Sure, it may be difficult, but I never said it was easy. Each function has a specific use, and so it also follows the WYSIWYG philosophy that comes from web design. It also emulates real-life music studio technology a little more faithfully than some more popular DAWs like Ableton Live and FL Studio, so it feels more professional. This also makes you learn more about using DAWs in general. If you want to monitor your mic sound or your audio playback, you either press the in or disc buttons on the target mixer track. If you want to change tempo or time signature, Literally just add a marker, it's that easy. And you don't need to use an inaccurate automation clip. Each MIDI track and their respective clips have their own piano rolls, which reduces the need for a separate MIDI roll window. May I add that Ardo is also written in C++? This makes it faster than DAWs like FL Studio, which is written in Delphi, based on Pascal. The third reason is that it comes with a large suite of plugins. Well, at least mine did when I installed it from the standard Arch Linux repositories, because I installed a group of packages rather than each package individually. I don't know whether that is the same for Debian or Red Hat based Linux distros, or Windows and Mac, but I do know that this is the case for Arch based distros. I have acquired so many plugins that do so many different things, it's not even funny. <laughs> I've got mid side versions of practically every important mixing plugin, such as the compressors and EQs from the Linux Studio Plugins project, for instance. I've got too many distortion plugins from Guitarix and other plugin creators. I think the only thing I don't have a surplus of is instruments. I recommend using Odin 2, Vital, and Zinad SubFX with his Infusion skin for synths, and LSP multi sampler for your drum samples. The fourth reason is that it records audio so well! I'm not even kidding, I used to use FL Studio, and audio recording was excruciatingly difficult to perform and arrange in a convenient manner. It defaults to its own Edison plugin, which I never bothered using, and it always records to a new track in a playlist. You can't change this, their source code is private. I don't know about other DAWs as much, but Ardu records to the same track, if you have one selected rather than to a new track on default. Sure, a DAW like Pro Tools can do the same thing, but Ardo does the same thing for free. Overlaid clips without fades are also smoother to listen to and easier to hide in a mix in Ardo, probably because every clip has a very tiny amount of fade on the start and finish by default. Did I mention you can control how you monitor audio coming in through your microphone? I will also quickly mention another DAW. Z-Rhythm is a very new DAW under active development. Unfortunately, I don't use it because it isn't easy enough to install and maintain on my system and projects become inaccessible after an update. I do look forward to seeing where it goes though. Did I mention it is free and open source? And those are the reasons why you should use Ardua as a DAW. Am I trying to sell you on Ardua? Possibly. Am I trying to sell you on Linux? Possibly. Am I trying to sell you on free and open source software? Sure. Also check out my newest song, New Faith, out in the link below. After that song, I will release music exclusively on my website at arcforest.net. And all you will have to do is pay a set price per month 
to access a repository of my music. Either that, or I sell them in NFT batches. Maybe both. I'll see what I can get out of WordPress. Of course, I will still post previews on the internet. XXX Tentacion style. Oh, I will tease you so bad. I'll see you next time. Bye.